We welcome you to the channel. In this session, Larry will be preparing bacon-wrapped turkey tenderloin and roasted potatoes in the incredible Ninja Speedy. The Speedy is a remarkable device that never fails to deliver, and this will be no exception. Let's go to Larry and get the video started. I was a little bit late getting home from work tonight, so I tried to think of something quick to make for dinner, and I decided to have bacon-wrapped turkey tenderloin with roasted potatoes all done together at the same time in the Ninja Speedy. So after I decided to do that, I decided to take you all along with me and we'll fix it and see how it comes out. I think it'll be good. Just about everything I've ever done in the Speedy always does come out real good. So first thing we're going to do is open the Speedy up and we're going to spray some nonstick cooking spray in the pan to make sure the potatoes don't stick. I don't think they would even if we didn't spray it because the nonstick properties of it are nothing short of amazing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put two cups of tap water in the pot to accomplish our cook. And then I have potatoes that I've cut in half. They're the little small ruby potatoes that I've cut in half and I've coated them with olive oil, salt and pepper, and some parsley flakes, some dried parsley. I'm going to just pour those right in there and spread them around so they're even and none of them are on top of each other. So this is such an easy meal. It's real easy and real good. Um, I've never done one on video with turkey. I've done with pork. We'll see how this one comes out. I'm going to put the shelf in and on the shelf I've got the little feet out so that it'll sit right in the indentions in the side of the pot and won't let the turkey be down actually in the, the water where the potatoes are. And then I've got the turkey. It's a turkey tenderloin. It's actually a butterball. Turkey tenderloin that I've wrapped with thick sliced bacon to give it a little accent of flavor. And I'm going to put it right in the center of the Speedy. Next we'll go to the front of the Speedy to the control panel and turn it on and get it ready to start the cook. Remember because of the multi-function technology built into the Speedy you can rapidly cook several items all at the same time by several different methods and what we'll be using on this is air fry and steam but it'll do it all automatically and we won't have to worry with it. So the first thing to do let's go ahead and turn the cover down, close it and turn it on, turn on the power and the little lever on the top we're going to turn up and that brings the pot to the rapid cooker section. If you leave it down it goes to the air fry and stove top but we're going to be up, and of the choices we have, we're going to use Speedy Meals. Remembering that I said we have it on Speedy Meals, we're going to put the temperature on 350 and the time for 20 minutes. It's already set on 20. So now what it's going to do when I turn it on, it's going to first steam the potatoes and the turkey and after it steams it for the amount of time that's programmed into it, then it's going to change over to the air fryer to cook the turkey on the top and the bottom heat to finish boiling the potatoes. And they should all be finished about the same time. Normally I have to take the meat out and let the potatoes cook just a little bit longer. But we'll see. So let's go ahead and start it. We've got it started. And you can see that it's showing that it's on preheat and beginning to cook. So we'll check back with it in just a few minutes. The Speedy just cut over to the air fry and um, you can see that there's, of the 20 minutes I set it up for, there's 19 minutes left. So now it's beginning to heat by a convection on the top and heat the potatoes on the bottom as well as steam so it's a three-way and let's take a little bit closer look. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a lot of steam coming out. 
that's normal. It vents the steam and lets it out, and it smells good. It smells real good. So we're going to let it cook on for a little bit, and we'll come back at about the 10-minute mark and take a look and see how the turkey's going and do a temp on it to make sure it's coming up to temperature properly. We're at nine minutes now. Let's take a look. Yeah, hey, that's browning up nicely. It's looking good. Let's see what the temperature is. I don't think it's quite ready for us to turn over. The internal temperature is about 80. Our target temperature is 165. So we've got a little ways to go. So we'll close it down. Also, let me tell you another tip about the Ninja Speedies. If you're going to increase the time, which you can if it's not done and it still needs some time to go, if you catch it before it goes to zero, you can increase the time without having to reset the temperature and the cooking cycle and everything else. So it just makes it easier. So we have 8 minutes and 30 seconds left. We'll try to catch it at about a minute and see where we stand then. Probably need to turn the turkey over and we'll need to maybe extend the cooking time just a little bit. We're down to a minute and a half now and it's smelling mighty good. Let's do another temp on it. See where we are. Look at that. Wow. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's see where we stand. We've still got a little bit of time to go. Let me get some tongs. We're going to turn it over. And we're going to change the time. We're going to add another maybe eight minutes to it. Turn that over so we can heat it from the other side. Close it down. We're going to add some time. We're less than a minute on the timer now. We're going to take it to eight. It should confirm with a beep. There we go. We'll check back when it has about a minute left again. We're down to the one minute mark. Let's take a look and see what the temperature is. I realized after I did my last segment why it's taken a long time to get to the right temperature because I told you I was late getting home from work and I took this right out of the refrigerator and it was very, very cold. Um, if I'd had time to sit it out on the counter for a little while, it probably would have been just fine. Now it's fine. It's up around 160 to 180. So residual heat on the edges will heat it in the center and it'll get warmer as it sits there and the temperature will rise. Let's see what the other side looks like. Look how pretty. It's beautiful and brown. The bacon cooked real nice. I'm going to put it over here and let it rest. And we're going to get the grilling plate out. It has a little tab to hold on to it. And we're going to check the potatoes. We're going to cook them just a little bit longer. We're going to leave it on speedy meal, which will cook it from the top and the bottom. And we're going to increase it to about five more minutes. We're down to one minute. Let's check these potatoes and see how fork tender they are. They look done. They're browned and look real good. I think they actually need to go just a little bit longer. Let's put them on for about eight more minutes and that should do it. All right, time's up. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, the potatoes are nice and browned and ready. I'm going to move them to the plate. We'll plate them up and then give everything a taste. Look how good those look. There we have it. <clears throat> Let's cut a little tiny piece of that turkey off and give it a taste. See how it came out. Looks like it's cooked real nicely. 
Mmm. Mmm. Tastes real good, and the, the bacon gives it an especially good flavor. Try one of these potatoes. Real good. Another overwhelming success from the Ninja Speedy. I have a link to the Speedy in the information below if you want to order one. If I'm not mistaken, they're still for a remanufactured one, which is as good as new, really. It has a, a good warranty and everything else. I think they're right around $100. Anyway, I'll put them in the links below. And if you like what you see, order one. And I doubt you'll be unhappy with it. You'll probably be very happy. If you like the video and you've enjoyed what I've done here, help support what we do on the channel and subscribe. It helps us a lot and gets us out to more people. Also, there are links to many of the items we use on the channel down below. And anytime you order, it costs you nothing more than if you order directly from Amazon which is what you're really doing, except the channel does get a very small amount of uh, income from commission on those sales. It's not much, but every little bit helps. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and we're looking forward to yet the next one we'll present to you. Should be in the next day or two. It's always great to have you and have so many of you on board with us, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care. What a great meal. It's always such a pleasure to have so many of you watching our videos. A lot of thought and work goes into each presentation and your viewership is very much appreciated. If you're already a subscriber, we appreciate it. And if not, we'd appreciate it if you were to subscribe, like, share, and click on the notification buttons below. It really helps the channel become visible to more and more people. A printed copy of the recipe for this dish is below so you can print it for reference. Additionally, Amazon purchase links are also printed allowing you to quickly find and order items used by Larry in these videos. Thank you again for your viewership, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video presentation.